WordPress version 5.9 brings the full site editing feature to the core. Let me quickly show you how it works and how to translate sites built with full site editing using WPML. To use full site editing, you must use a block theme. Block themes are built specifically with full site editing in mind. I'll use the new default WordPress theme called 2022. When you use a block theme, you'll notice that the appearance menu is completely different and there are only two pages there, themes and editor. Things like customizer, widgets and menus are missing. That's because now you can use the new full site editor to do all of the customizations. Look, if you click on the editor, you enter the full site editing mode. It looks pretty slick and minimalistic. As this is the block editor, you design everything using blocks. A completely new thing to notice is the style sidebar, which should eventually replace customizer because it allows you to adjust the styling of things like fonts, colors and layouts for your whole site. By default, you start in the site editor, which in the case of the 2022 theme, edits the homepage template. Click on the WordPress logo and you get a menu for accessing your site's templates and template parts. When you activate a block theme, the design for your site comes from the original template files in that theme. Let's first see how to translate the default unedited templates. For example, the original footer of the 2022 theme has a text that says proudly powered by WordPress. Before translating the theme files for the first time, we need WPML to scan them. Go to WPML theme and plugins localization page, select your theme and click to scan it. Now, go to the WPML string translation page and search for the text you want to translate. Click to enter the translation and you're done. And now, when you switch to that language on the front end, the text is translated. Now, if you update any of the templates, it is saved in its new form into the site's database. And from that moment on, your site will apply that new template on the front end. In the list of templates in the editor, the edited ones are marked with a little blue circle. To translate customized templates, simply go to WPML Translation Management, Filter for Templates, select the one you'd like to translate and send it for translation. Just like any other page, you can translate it yourself, send it to your local translator or a translation service. And if you're using WPML's Translate Everything mode, as soon as you update any of your templates, WPML will automatically translate them in the background. In this example, I'm the only translator on my site, so I go to WPML Translations page and take the job. Then I can simply use the Advanced Translation Editor to do the translation. Let's use Automatic Translation and I'm done. Now, on the front end, my custom 404 template is translated. 